Hello everyone, this is TCAT from TCAT's Deep Vinyl Tracks, and I've got Norman back here on the back of my chair is joining in with us today. We'll see what happens with, with our little guest behind us. Uh, I just wanted to go over some things, show some things that I've found just recently, and uh, show a couple of things that I've got on rotation. Uh, that I've given a second chance to that I've really grown to like recently. Um, first of all, I'd like to show my new coffee mug that I found. I think it's perfect. One cat short of crazy. And uh, it's my new mug that I have that I really like. Um, first of all, um, this is an album I've had for a couple years now. And uh, it's uh, something that after my first listen, I didn't really like it. Well, I thought it was okay. I just didn't really enjoy it as much as I was hoping. Since it's, uh, especially since it's one of my favorite artists, which is Neil Young. And that's this album, Peace Trail. When I first heard it, I thought it lacked a little bit of... Uh, something it just seemed to be missing something and I kind of listened through it and then set it to the side for a while and uh, just recently got it back out again and listened to it and found that I really enjoy it a lot more than what I originally thought I did um, it's a little more stripped back than um, the, his recent release which is Barn in that he's not playing with um, with Crazy Horse, and he's not playing with Promise of the Real, um, which surprised a lot of critics at the time, and they weren't really sure how to take that. Uh, this is actually just him playing along with um, Paul Bushnell on bass and Jim, Ke uh, I'm not sure how you say his last name, Keckner, something like that, on drums. See it. So it's kind of a more stripped back sound from from those where it works with the full band. Um, but it's still very Neil Young sounding. Really good album. And I've come to appreciate it a lot more. Now the neat thing about this particular purchase is it not only had one, but it had two copies of the vinyl stuck in there together. I don't know if you've had any, anybody else has had that issue with an album before, but that's the first time I've ever seen anything like that. Um, there's also this big lyric sheet that it comes with. All the lyrics are there. So, if you like your Neil Young with a little less noise and a lot more heart, I guess, um, this, this is for you, though it does have that kind of different feel to it. But uh, it, it actually sounds a little bit more like something Bob Dylan would do. Um, but I really enjoy it now, and I consider it one of his better albums. Another one, um, this is a band that I have a few albums from already, and one of those is this one here, which is the uh, debut album from Hawkwind. It's, that one is a, a reissue on Orange Vinyl. I think it was released for a record store day. Um, I have a couple of their other albums, which I really enjoy, but this particular one um, was the one I had a little harder time with at first, and I kind of put it aside and forgot about it. Um, it's Quark, Strangeness, and Charm is the name of this album. And uh, it was a little harder for me to get into it, but now that I have, I've been listening to it a little bit more. i come to appreciate it. It's on the Sire label. And uh, the release date was 1977. So... I think it was like maybe their 
fifth or sixth album, something like that. Anyway, um, I really like it a lot more than what I did at first. So, some recent finds I have. I first want to show a few CDs. Um, this one here, Janis Joplin's Greatest Hits. Uh, I know this is one that's quite readily available, but this was in a really good condition. Um, used and all the CDs at the place where I pick up used CDs at are $1.99 so this was $1.99 and this particular edition comes with two bonus tracks maybe and Mercedes Benz but it also has Peace of My Heart, Summertime, Try Just a Little Bit Harder, Cry Baby, Me and Bobby McGee, Down on Me, Get It While You Can, Bye Bye Baby, Move over and ball and chain. So that's a good one there. Um, this one I'm a little less familiar with, at least as far as this album goes. I do know who the Black Crows are, but this one is called Lions. I haven't heard this CD yet, but I'm looking forward to listening to it. I doubt you can read those titles because I can't read them even without even when they're right in front of me. Uh, this is one that uh, is actually a brand new, well, not a brand new, uh, new release, but the CD itself was brand new and still in the shrink when I found it. And it was there with the $1.99 items, but it's Duran Duran. I don't think I've even heard of this album before seeing it in the store. The name of the album is Paper Gods one of their more recent albums and it has um, a few guests joining in with them on some of the songs so that's one again that I haven't heard that I'm looking forward to listening to for $1.99 can't go too wrong right and then I also found this box set which was quite a nice surprise uh, it's a box set by Dan Fogelberg called Portrait, the music of Dan Fogelberg. Um, it's in a slip case. Comes with a nice booklet. And I got this for $3.99. Um, it has a lot of nice pictures. Uh, Dan Fogelberg talks about each one of the different songs and it's spread across four CDs. Now everybody knows Dan Fogelberg has uh, passed away uh, some years ago but um, these CDs are divided up in disc one is called hits, disc two is ballads, disc three is rock and roll and disc four is tales and travels. So. A lot of these songs I'm familiar with, uh, having heard many of them several years ago. Others are new to me, I've never heard before, but uh, pretty good collection there. Uh, now some vinyl, some more vinyl that I've found. Um, I was able to finally find a copy of this uh, for a really good price. Um, it was $5.99. Caravan Cunning Stunts is the name of this album. And this is on BTM Records. Oops. Um, the release is 1975. I've heard this. It's a very good album by Caravan. Uh, the entire second side is split up in a, a suite. Uh, called the Dab Song Concerto, 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 C O N S H I R T O E. So they've taken concert, concerto and made it into concerto. I um, also found a copy of Steppenwolf's Slow Flux. I've heard some slow, uh, some Steppenwolf albums in the past. I've never heard this particular album, so I was a little bit leery. But I figured, uh, you know, for five bucks, you couldn't go too wrong. Uh, 
I picked it up and it's actually a very good album. Uh, I didn't recognize any of the titles when I found it. I don't think I've heard any of these on the radio before, but uh, it's a really good album on the Columbia label, just a basic Columbia label. Um, I found this one, Claude Bowling Trio. This is Jaws à la Français. I may be pronouncing that wrong, but you get the picture. Here's the, the back side of it. Very nice uh, keyboard and piano led jazz. Uh, people that are familiar with Claude Bowling know that uh, he's more of a considered a neoclassical composer, but in this one he takes a deep dive into jazz, does an excellent job with it, and a really good album. That was $1.99. Um, I found a Fleetwood Mac, an older Fleetwood Mac album called Penguin. This one um, was prior to Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks joining the band. Christine B is part of the band and sings on three of the songs. Also Bob Welsh and uh, one other uh, lead singer who I'm afraid I can't remember the name. <laughs> Sorry. But this is on the Reprise label. A really clean copy of it um, for around five bucks. So I'm trying to collect a lot of the older back catalog of Fleetwood Mac. And uh, I was glad to have that one. Um, another band that I've been finding or picking up a lot of their albums lately is Ten Years After, and I finally found a good clean copy of A Space and Time, or a, yeah, A Space and Time, and a uh, really good album. Uh, this is the one that has I'd Love to Change the World on it, which has always been a favorite song of mine, and so I was glad to find this one. Uh, like I said, I've got some of their other albums already, but this one is on the Columbia 2i. And it's in very, very good shape. Plays clean. Uh, I think another five buck, five dollar record. Uh, this one I was really excited about, especially for the price. And um, I've been wanting to hear more from this particular artist, so I was happy to get this, and it's an, an, an excellent album. I'm really excited to have it. Tom Waits' Blue Valentine. Um, Tom Waits, of course, his vocals sometimes take a little getting used to. Uh, I was really surprised at how um, accessible this particular album was, because some of his other albums are not as accessible. But uh, he's got quite uh, uh, variance, more of a variance in his vocals than what I was familiar with in the past. And uh, really, really good album. So, there it is. That's what I found recently. And uh, what I'm hoping to do in the future is show a little bit more of what I've got in my existing record collection, which I'll be doing over, you know, the next probably several months. Um, but uh, that's what I've found here recently, and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Remember, you can hit the subscribe button and uh, ring the notification bell if you would like to know when I post other videos. Uh, I'm going to also be conti continuing to do my Stephen Wilson series. Uh, I'm in the process of getting the second part of that together. So, uh, thank you again for watching. Shout outs to all the VC members that have always been there to to leave comments and and uh, respond to my comments on their sites. Um, and uh, among them is uh, uh, Robert's on on man <laughs> Robert from Robert on the turntable or on your turntable something like that. Anyway, I'm sorry, 
don't have the exact name down. Um, several others that I'll give shout outs to in my next video. But uh, all of you, all your subscriptions are appreciated and any comments are more than welcome. So thank you for watching and we'll talk to you later.